Shalom and welcome. Welcome to End Time Reflections. My name is Simonai, and these are the words I'm compelled to present to an awakening, set-apart nation. Individuals who seek to do the will of the Almighty Father, Yahuwah. Individuals who are drawn by Yahuwah to Yahushua Mashiach, as it is indeed written in the scriptures. In its 25th installment, I want to talk about the first wave. But before I state the case for this installment, I want you to know that the views expressed in these podcasts are not necessarily the views of the owners, management, and or shareholders of this media platform. With that said, behold the realities of end time prophecies, for they are indeed here. The hand of the Almighty Yahuwah is rising before us in Yahushua's name, and we are witnessing some beginning to come together. While the majority are being refined and disciplined to fulfill what is written, there are those who are being drawn, those who are responding, those who are among the first wave. Believe it or not, there will be set apart chosen leaders. There will be brothers and sisters who will discern and respond quicker than others. I could have said first fruit, but in this segment I want to say the first wave, indicating action. This group will grow to be known as part of the first wave, as well as the children of obedience. One of the most challenging things among us is to discern the living voice of the spirit of Yahuwah sin and use his name. Not many people understand the dynamics of the relationship we have with Abba Yahuwah. Some would rather say just Ruach HaKadosh or my spirit and sensationalize Ruach or Ruach HaKadosh more than identifying that it is indeed the spirit of Yahuwah working in us in Yahushua's name. My brothers and sisters, I cannot stress enough, as we begin to witness uncertainty rise, even worse than what it is, as civil unrest continues to stir among us, as economic instability is prevalent or clearly in our midst, we will grow to understand the life in the scriptures. Consider John fourteen twenty six. This is where I speak of the Almighty Father sending his set-apart spirit in Yahushua's name. It says, but the helper, the set-apart spirit, whom the Father shall send in my name, he shall teach you all and remind you of all that I've said to you. Yes, there are those among us who are undiscerning and unlearned, who dismiss Matthew to Revelation which is commonly referred to as the New Testament, as an excuse because they do not understand the dynamic of the relationship. My brothers and sisters, though there are those among us who desire to be leaders in or among the quick discerners, the quick discerners, the first wave, are those who understand the sense of urgency, those who are beneficiaries, who understand timing of such positions is based on discerning and responding correctly with a ready position of obedience, a ready mind, body, and soul. Allow me to read the following, O set apart family. Proverbs 27, 17 say, iron is sharpened by iron, and a man sharpens the face of his friend. Many fail to realize that these are like metals, and when they are used to sharpen one another, sparks fly, and the sparks that fly are the impurities that are not needed in order to get a keen, sharp edge. So it is with iron sharpening iron when two like metals, when two individuals truly seek to discern and do the will of the Almighty Father, when two truly desire to worship and obey and they come together, sure there will be some sparks. There are some leaders that don't know how to discern and are quick to just pick one of them and say you're bringing confusion when oftentimes they pick the one that is obedient to the Spirit. Ecclesiastes 10.10 10.10 reads, if, iron, if an iron tool is blunt and one does not sharpen the edge, then he needs more strength and wisdom is advantageous to make it right. Where is the wisdom among us, my brothers and sisters? Are you satisfied with your pastor, your moray, your teacher, your leader, your bishop? Are they teaching and imparting on you what to do? In the case of their demise, are they giving you understanding of what it means to discern iron sharpening iron? Do they speak of having a ready mind, a sense of urgency? 
discerning whether the spirit of you who are sending you's name come to us directly or through us one towards another. In Revelation 3.19, he says, as many as I love, I reprove and discipline. So be ardent and repent. My brothers and sisters, Yashara, oh, set apart family. I have witnessed pastors, mores, teachers, bishops, and other influential individuals bear false witness against the obedient ones because they were either jealous, selfish, and or just plain undiscerning and unlearned. Beware of such individuals who choose their own selfish agenda and positions, who foster positions to protect their egos opposed to listening to set apart obedient ones among us. My brothers and sisters, I mention often about vetting and or examining all things. It is my position that he who seeks to discern the voice of the spirit of you who are sent in your name will discover things more quickly than others. We have among us people who prefer to choose different words to describe things they hear, see, and or experience. Today, my brothers and sisters, I am compelled to use the term, the words, the first wave, mentioned in response to the first responders, the quick responders, the ready mind brother and sister. I submit to you, I very well could have named this installment quick responders, as I stated, set apart leaders. The first wave, my brothers and sisters, indicating that there will be action. As the spirit of the almighty father stir within us, my brothers and sisters, there will be actions that many of us would not have imagined coming from the almighty father working in us, through us. In times I hear, and with it comes extreme humbling times that require our attention and obedience to the spirit of you who are sent and use his name like never before imagined. I mentioned often that soon and very soon we will witness mass movement, forced migration. Just because it has not reached your doorstep does not mean you are exempt. Meaning, in other words, does not mean it's going to pass by you. Every living individual that is physically alive will face movement soon and very soon. I speak of how uncertainty is growing while also encouraging set apart Yashara to focus on what the spirit of Yahuwah is saying. It would be wise to establish a ready mind, body, and soul as specific tasks are brought to our attention, my brothers and sisters. It would be wise to embrace what is made known versus rejecting set apart guidance simply because you did not get the message first. Don't be among the envy and the jealous. Be among those with a ready mind. Learn how to yield and be part of the first wave in order to support and join and encourage the first wave. For the sharper the edge, the point, the quicker we are able to break through the noise, the nonsense, the wickedness. We have seen those of the first wave get rejected at times, even scolded by religious leaders as well as other brothers and sisters. It's time for that to stop, and it will we have witnessed individuals bear false witness against those of the first ways because of what is presented may be too difficult for them to understand and receive at the time. Again, I cannot stress the importance of vetting in or examining all things as it is written in the scriptures, as we are instructed to do. When we vet or examine correctly, my brothers and sisters, we'll find that we are able to discern and acknowledge those of the first wave and beyond, those who are leaders, those who have a ready mind. And Yashara will witness the 144,000 in great multitude begin to take shape as a result of the first wave of the obedient. Beware, do not join the bandwagon, so to speak, or the majority rule by rejecting and bearing false witness against the obedient of Abba Yahuwah's spirit. All too often I've seen individuals go with the majority rule in or have been taught over the years versus discovering whether or not corrections are presented. In other words, for such a time as this, there are old habits that are wrong and are being brought out. And the wicked ones will serve what they believe, but they will face their judgment. Hear this, O Yasharal, the first wave will demonstrate the things that are correct, the things that are set apart. My brothers and sisters, 
we will come away from individuals that say, well, that's what we've always been taught. That's the way we've always done it. Could so many people be wrong? Yes. A good example is the word Torah. People have been seduced to thinking Torah is just the five books of the scriptures, commonly known as the Bible. I'm saying the scriptures are commonly known, but they try to say the Torah, the Torah is the five books of Moshe, of Moses. Torah, in fact, means, my brothers and sisters, instructions. What do you think the rest of the scriptures bring to our walk? When we begin to examine people's position with a mind to discover set apartness, we can discover that some old positions, some old beliefs and antiquated teachings have been wrong and deceitful. The days have begun where we are discovering a release from old teachings that were wrong, my brothers and sisters, the ones that were wrong. We are witnessing a release from the stronghold of old teachings that are erroneous and wicked. Comfort is not an option. The days are here when we will see the Almighty Father, Yahuwah Spirit, take some of us swiftly to positions of understanding so that we are able to correctly do what must be done. We will discover as end time realities become more believable among man that there will be people who will witness the first wave of those coming together to fulfill the final exodus. There will be those who will lead and cause others to follow the calling from the spirit of Yahuwah. Will you be among the first wave of individuals who will rise to fulfill what is written? Are you one of the first wave being still refined and disciplined before you take on the tasks that are before you? The time is now to choose wisely. The direction that is ordered from the Almighty Father. Let us learn to discern and respond more readily, O Yashara. Believe it or not, even as individuals may resist and attempt to ignore what is unfolding, there is movement towards end time prophecy fulfillment. I invite you to begin discussing how to respond to those of the first wave. Don't be jealous and envious. Don't attack them. Don't get on the bandwagon with the majority rule. Seek out, examine, vet. Are they bringing correction for such a time as this? Let us have our eyes opened by the power and might of the Almighty Father. Let us have our ears made clear so that we can discern the living words from Abba Yahuwah in Yahushua's name that are coming to us and through us one towards another. He who is quick to receive those of the first wave will discover by following them as they are led by the spirit of Yahushua, much comfort will come as a result during these end times. I'm compelled to believe that comfort will come by understanding what must be fulfilled, what must and will come to be. Walking in obedience to he who gives us everlasting life is critical. Look around, O Yasharal. Do not think because you are silent. Do not think because you're in your house, apartment, or car, or tent, or wherever you rest your head. Do not think because you are alone that there aren't intercessory prayer warriors praying for you, praying for Yasharal. Do not think that there are not individuals who will eventually reach out to you and reach you and you reach them. Some will discover the full drawing power of the Almighty Father like never before during these end times. Behold, the first wave is rising and will soon become clear to those who truly seek to do the will of the Almighty Father. You may be among the first wave and just not realize what you're going through right now is preparing you, refining you, equipping you with the strength and fortitude to represent the set-apart family of Yashara. Know this, there are actions from some that are taken for granted, thus gone ignored, leading to set-apart positions being ignored. But the discipline of the Almighty Father will make straight his chosen. Some of the simplest of words we take for granted because we fail to ask ourselves what are the functions of these words. There will be those being disciplined and refined who will be among the first wave. They will rise up in this set-apart nation. They will respond and hear the call from Abba Yahuwah and respond with an eager 
heart, mind, body, and soul for our redemption is drawing close. There are responsibilities. There will be accountability to all. Seek ye, O oh brother, my sister, my set-apart family. Let us seek what the Almighty Father has to say about a matter. Let us fall into ranks that he is directing our footsteps. I cannot stress enough how there is much work to be done. Be encouraged, my brothers and sisters. Our redemption draws near to pray. Most of all, have a ready mind to step into the position among the first wave or follow the first wave. But know indeed that it is the first wave of the Almighty Father Yahuwah. In Yahushua's name, trust and believe, my brothers and sisters. I believe that I have said enough for now. It is important that we identify the first wave, for they are the point. They are the tip of the arrow, the tip of the sword. They are the breakthrough generation chosen by the Almighty Father. You may be among the first wave. You may be a follower of the first wave. Whatever the case may be, my brothers and sisters, let us learn to shout hallelujah and identify the orders that he is putting before us. I end with saying, press on, my brother, my sister. Continue to be encouraged. On that note, you have been listening to The First Wave. My name is Simonia, and I say to you, Shalom.